Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Uh, so this is my first of three videos. Two of them are going to be true achievements related, and then the third one's going to be a review of my 2020 essentially. Uh, so this one is my achievements and game score review for the month of December 2020. Um, so in the month of December, I got 213 achievements and 6,143 game score. I'll get into that later on, and I'll explain why it's like that. Um, I played. Th I started seven games, played 33, haven't completed any, but I'm close to completing some currently. Uh, the big ones for me this month, um, you've got Dead Rising 2, I got 38 achievements worth 760 game score, I got it on the Xbox One, so every achievement is now worth 20 game score. Uh, Snooker Nation Championship 2019, which my older brother owns, I basically signed into his profile and made this my home Xbox so I get his games, because I do the same for him. I get about six games out of him, he gets about 450 out of me, so, you know, even balance. Um, yeah, I got 10 achievements worth 600 game score. Uh, Aka Neo Geo Metal Slug, 9 achievements worth 760 game score. Uh, Aka Neo Geo uh, Fatal Fury 2, 8 achievements worth 680 game score. Um, Race the Sun, 8 achievements worth 230 game score. Forza Street, uh, which is an um, app on your phone. Uh, six achievements for 430 game score. I originally got it as part of the 12 Days of Christmas challenge, and then I've sort of just been playing it more since. Um, Streets of Rage 4, 11 achievements for 225 game score. Uh, Assetto Corsa, 12 achievements for 200 game score. Akaneo Geo Burning Fight, 5 achievements for 420 game score. Dead Rising 2 Off the Record, 12 achievements for 240 game score. Uh, Speed 3 Grand Prix, which I'm currently going through now, uh, 8 achievements for 300 game score. Halo Master Chief Collection, 25 achievements by 210 game score. Uh, FIFA 21, I'm finally back into playing, like I said, because of my brother's console like as this as a home Xbox, I can play it. Um, I was going to wait for it to come to EA Access, but or slash Xbox Games Pass now, but knowing then they'd wait until September, like a month before the new one comes out. Um, Marvel Ultimate Lines 2, 11 achievements by 150 game score. Um... And then everything else is just like one achievement or so, um, so not really worth talking about. My highest achievements for this month, um, beat the best um, in the Snooker World Champion Snooker Nation Championship 2019, uh, 200 game score for winning the championship final, uh, legendary worth 90 game score for winning the UEFA Champions League final in FIFA 21. Um, here with my cars worth 100 game score in Forza Street for collecting 15 cars. Uh, Aka Neo Geo, Caravan Mode, getting a certain amount of points worth 100 game score. 3 star first in Forza Street for claiming my first 3 star car. Uh, more Caravan Mode in Aka Neo Geo. Uh, they've, they've not got many achievements but the game score is quite high for them. Um, so yeah, uh, also what happened this month, I sort of did this intentionally. Um, the 28th of December I did not unlock an achievement. Um, because I got to 280 days and my previous best was 140 days so I wanted to sort of end it on double and the achievement ratio was better than the last one I think one of the things that bugged me before was my best in terms of days was 140 but before that was 106 and the achievement ratio was lower in the 140 and the 106 so I kind of wanted to amend that and luckily this year I've managed to um, I'll basically explain in the 2020 review as to basically what helped me do that. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much my review for December 2020. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the reason it ends in three is because um, in Dead Island, uh, the remastered edition on the Xbox One, for some reason, the majority of the achievements are worth either eight, 12, uh, I think 16 or 24. And I got one that was worth 18. Uh, I was playing with a friend of mine and we unlocked a tube playing in co-op. So that's always fun. Um, so yeah, I've had to... Uh, like, I'm going to at some point go back on that and try and get this 12 game score achievement that I'm close to getting so, to try and fix it. Um, the rest is like for playing with multiple online people, but I don't think many people play it anymore. So I don't think I could do that one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a review for December 2020. 213 achievements, 6,143 game score, and I'll be doing the full 2020 review after this. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I shall hopefully see you in the next one.